everybody. We're gonna take a look at my attire collection, see what has changed from many years of collecting and selling and trading. So we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna show you that uh, a lot of mine have dust sleeve covers. Uh, they are made by video game dust sleeves. So if you ever wanna grab some, they are for sale and proceeds help out my channel. There is Atari Creeps also where it's walk to end Alzheimer's and those are a good cause. So those all go to benefit that walk. And he always does a proceeds, you know, walk at the end of the year and he'll let you know on his channel. So if you ever wanna check that out, I'll drop a link to Atari Creeps channel and you can see more information about that. But uh, a lot of the reasons why I have these dust sleeves is some of these are pretty banged up from over years of just, they just don't have the glue capacity anymore. But the first game is Pele Soccer, Space Cavern. The actual label is not too bad on this one. Then it is Superman. This one also doesn't have a bad label. Uh, the end label has gone, so that's why I did this one. Then it is a video pinball, classic looking label. Again, no end label on this one. Then we have Moon Patrol. Uh, this one has a good label, but uh, somebody decided to put Moon Patrol themselves. Don't know who, but it's hilarious to see that they at least attempted to put something there. This is Casino. Uh, this has a decent label as well. But no end label. See a pattern here, don't you? And a video game based off of a movie, Crawl. Uh, the label is still good. No end label, of course. But look at that artwork, man. Then we have Star Trek. This one is awesome cartridge. Uh, I loved Sega. How they made their carts way different from anything to do with Atari or anything like that. But yeah, label is pretty banged up on the end, but you can still tell what the game is. Next is Taz. Label's okay. Um, it looks like maybe possibly somebody had done some work to the cart because they tried banging on the stuff and doing stuff, but still good. Next is Maze Craze. Um, label is great. No end label, of course, but I like the little artwork that they did on this one. Next is Lost Luggage. I was shocked to see how good they were, but then I think that their reprint um, kind of looks a little faded, a little too glossy. But I don't know. I'm thinking because the label doesn't fit match great, so you can kind of tell. So it might be a repro label, but I really don't care. I'm gonna keep it for the rest of the time that I have. And we're gonna go into a classic, and that is Mario Bros, one of the only games that Nintendo licensed out to another console. And both labels are doing okay. Um, still gonna have to glue this one. It's a little, as you can see, like it's gonna about to fall off. But yeah, man, classics can't go wrong. Then a hilarious movie, Porky's. What else can I say about this? Uh, End label is looking really bad, but not too bad. And then you have the great label right here, 20th Century Fox. What's so weird to see that 20th Century Fox licensed out so many games. The next game is Street Racer. This one is a classic, I like it. I like the cards that they picked for the label itself. Not bad. My all time favorite games, Popeye. Um, I like this version for Atari. Uh, the label is falling off, so I'm gonna have to glue that on again. But I like the cart. Uh, I like that they would stamp on the plastic the name of who made the company and stuff like that. But yeah, the game's great. Can't complain. It's Popeye. Next game is Raiders of the Lost Ark. This one is in excellent condition. Pins are still great. Um, I cleaned it out and... No issues whatsoever with this one. We have a sports game. It is real sports baseball. Label is really good on the top, but uh, no end label. This one fell off, so it's okay. 
As long as I can see what it is, I am good to go. And we have a classic, and that is Stampede. This one is not bad at all. Um, it's doing really good for the label as far as I can. The game is good. I like the sounds. It's not too annoying with the sounds on that one. Then we have a classic, and that is Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster Munch is the name of the game. Um, looks like the label got some water damage of some kind. I don't know if the kid who had this did something, but somebody again decided to make their own label. I leave these. These are hilarious to me to see all the styles of what people do to like keep their game going. I don't think you need to take it off. Then we have another Nintendo licensed game and that is Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, the labels on both sides are good. I haven't seen any issues and as far as I can tell there's no uh, water damage on us at all except for it's looking a little dusty in there. I might have to clean this out again but yeah. And the last actual legit cart that I have is the infamous E.T. It's got good labels on both ends, but I don't know what this is. I think this might have been tape of some kind because it looks like it's like probably like residue from a tape. I have no idea why they did that. Maybe something had fallen off or they were trying to keep something good, but it's a little weird, but hey, what can you do? CT. Now two games I got repro because I'm not paying about $500 for the games. They're okay games. One is very annoying with their sounds. The other one, it's, it's not bad. But um, I had boxes made for them later on and that is Halloween and then uh, Halloween and then it was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know why I can't talk right now. But um, yeah, I got these off of Etsy. Uh, there's a guy who makes repro cartridges for everything. And these look legit. Um, they do have reproduction on the little end label right there. And that way you can't sell it off and try to get $500 for them. But uh, let me show you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. And then this one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Again, reproduction on the side right there. I like the fact that I can play the game. I don't have to worry about it. I really don't care if it's a reproduction. Some people want to go for a full set or a legit set all the way. But if a game is going to be that high in price, it's just going to keep going up. And once I found out how they play, I was like... Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I really am okay with that. Now, as far as the boxes go, um, I got these again off of uh, just looking for boxes. Uh, I got again, I keep forgetting that I need to get like an insert inside to be made. But hopefully one day I can figure that out. But yeah, it's it's it does the job. They keep the, the cartridges looking good and that's all I was really worrying about. But I've also seen that there is a couple hacks out there um i'm gonna probably try to grab a couple of them i seen that evil dead one that looked really you know fun to get so guys and gals that is my atari collection all the games i know it's small but mighty a lot of the, the collection is just minor in my opinion it's mostly what i had when i was growing up when i got my first atari i know a lot of people are gonna hate that i have reproductions but I'm not going to pay $500 or more for a game that doesn't play well. And that's just my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want to do with your money. Now, I will say uh, a couple people have asked me about these games a lot because they want to buy one, a copy. And if you do, they are cheap for like 25 to 50 depending on what you get. I know a couple guys that are on Etsy that sell these for 25 to 50 just based on what you want to add to them. You can do a special label. I just went with the basic label. Uh, there's many different versions of the labels. That's why they go up in price. And then also you can do fancy carts like clear carts and stuff like that. But I just stick with the legit regular ones that are different styles. Who cares in my opinion. But I know that I haven't shown this off and don't know how I missed, maybe because I thought, well, I don't have a lot of games, but let me know. What are your thoughts on the Atari and my collection? And I'll catch you next time. If you're new, hit the sub button, helps out the channel.
And I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games.